Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we will present about our topic which is Automatic Electronic School Belt We are from Group 9 and let's meet our team We have three members The first one is Muhammad Aizuddin bin Nurizam Me, Shafika Bidayu and Nafazim Biti Sazali Alright, introduction to our topic Automated system are all around us where everything is handled automatically by intelligent systems such as microcontroller and embedded system. School bells are essentially piece of equipment for every school. They are basically a mechanical device that are able to produce loud and sharp sound under the influence of external applied force. An electronic automatic bell system is designed for use in school. School use the system to make the bell ring automatically with the help of a keypad. The bell can automatically operate based on the pre-programmed time. Next, the function is this automatic electronic school bell project is the one that requires the least human effort to operate compared to other type of system that require human effort to function and require improvement to become automated. The function of school bell is to divide the class period into equal parts and indicate their start and finish with inductive sound. Therefore, our project deal with the simple electronic school bell timer design for the specific purpose of ringing the bell on time. Next, in order to make our project is to be complete, we need to go look in some of the components that included in electronic school bell. Each component that will mention are very important to each others in order to complete our project. If one of the components are filled, the rest will also fail. Our first component is power supply. In order to make sound or any electronic components to be activated, they must have electric power. The sources of power can be DC output or we call direct current output such as batteries 5V, 9V or solar. The other one is AC output or we call alternate current output which is from socket of our household or property. Next is Arduino Mega 2560. This component is one of the microcontroller. The function is to write and upload the computer code and convert to physical board. For this microcontroller, it has their own software and is very recommended to the beginner in programming because it's using USB to put the command. Next, we had LCD screen with 16 times 2 inch display. By using this component, we can easily know what are the message are prompting in the screen to input the timetable data information. For example, to look what time and reveal which time we set to ring the bell or alarm. Next is the buzzer. The function is quite simple which is it will produce the sound of the alarm. Next is the component like watch battery but actually it's a chip or module. It's RTC module or we call real time clock module. This component can remember what time and date today also make sure the date and time system are kept in the track. Our next component is the switch. This component is quite simple which is to easily navigate the command of the system. For example, we can set our own alarm last but not least. Our last component is the connecting wires. Uh, this component is to connecting between one component to other component in order to complete the circle. Now we are going to see how the automatic electronic school bell works. Basically, there are four steps that we need to execute to make sure that the school bell is working correctly. First, the way this electric bell works is by pressing the on button. There is on and off button available as a switch. The switch on button causes the electric current to flow when the circuit becomes connected 
then flows to the coil which functions as a voltage source. Furthermore, the electric current will work on the coil, and this process will be explained in step 3. The next step is to set time for the bell to ring. It also allows you to set timing of electronic bell as it has a built-in real-time clock which track over the real time through the LCD display. When this time equals to the bell ringing time, then the relay for the bell is switched on. The bell ringing time can be edited at any time so that it can be used at normal class timings as well as exam times. The real time clock is displayed on 4-7 segment display which is able to show date and time. The microcontroller PIC16F 877A is used to control all the functions. It gets the time through the keypad and store it in its memory. And when the real time and bell time get equal, then the bell is switched on for a predetermined time. Step 3 is about coil attracting the heating metal. In the electric bell, coil has an electromagnetic role which attracts the heating metal. The way it works is with an electric current flowing to the coil, the U-shaped iron will turn into a magnet. From this magnet, the U-shaped iron attracts soft iron which is attached to a steel spring. The final step is about magnet cause the bell to ring. After becoming a temporary magnet, then the iron and core and steel spring will be attracted to the magnet or electromagnet and hit the beater, causing the electric bell to ring. This sound is then heard by us in a crowded place that requires a bell as information. That's all for me. Thank you. As a conclusion, a successful automated school bell can be constructed and implemented in school in order to save time and afford. It is a cost-effective project that can be built with readily available equipment and used in real time in school. This can be added in every educational institution according to the timing which can be readily reprogrammed by a layman and can also modify timing for specific classes according to the school schedule. This project effectiveness is additionally boosted by the inclusions of a time display. That's all from us. Thank you.